Oh! Once inside the house, the old woman changed. Oh, just lovely. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weasel, and today we're gonna play The Park, a first-person psychological horror game slash exploration game set in an abandoned, creepy amusement park. And uh, this game just released on Steam, and we're just gonna jump right into it. It looks amazing, and it got already a few good reviews, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, as with every story-driven game, I recommend that you guys play it yourself before you watch a Let's Play, just to experience it yourself. Um, but yes, <laughs> the game warns you it's dealing with some disturbing matter and some people might be uh, stressed out by that. So quick warning ahead, I guess. But it's a horror game after all, a psychological one, and I'm really excited. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Wow. This looks good. I... The screenshot looked already good, but yeah, that's that's off to a strong start. Uh, yeah, Callum, let's... I, I, are we gonna look for your bear now? I have no idea where we are. Atlantic Island Park. Bingo. Drink bingo. Okay, I guess. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Well. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Great. Are we coming Before from the park? Prepare the park for shutdown. Or. Wait. No, I think we just came here. Well, great timing then. Press left mouse button to interact with objects in the world. Good enough. Aw, oh, this looks like a nice park. A little bit, yeah, a little bit rough around the edges. Ah, oh, there's the information. Fantastic. What? Yeah, this can't be good. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Thank you, that's that's awfully nice. Did he? Did he run into the park though? Or did I just imagine? Because I didn't see him. He's not sitting in the car anymore, I think. I'm, I'm just making sure. No, he's not in the park in the car anymore. Well, let's find his teddy. Examine plague. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Oh, would you look at that? A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. I hope, I hope with laughter, and not with some deadly disease. Well, let's head inside Atlantic Island Park. I told him, is it? Looks good so far. Wait for mommy, Callum! Come on, mommy! Oh! Provides audio Wait clues. Wait for mommy, Callum! Come on, this way! Alright. Read a flyer, what do we got? Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. It's a scenic place, and I created many of my best memories here. Okay, for the little ones, try a tunnel of tales for gentle, family-friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales. If that sounds too slow, grab an adult and jump into the bumper cars. Ooh, bumper cars. For the teens, for the big ones. There's a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel. Okay, looks good. Uh, it's like a, like, a, like a map, I guess. That's really pretty. Uh, so you're, oh, you're Nathaniel Winter. You're a little creepy. All right, let's let's do this. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Yeah, Callum, why There's would you something do that? Something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Oh. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. 
Attention employees, the park is now closed. Ooh, this can't be good. Have a safe journey home. This cannot be good. Someone should call. I was about to say an electrician, but an exorcist. Oh. Well, that's just lovely. Oh, God. The park. Okay, yeah. What happened here? Good question. Good question. It seems long abandoned. Wait here, kid. Ah. Why? Wait, Callum. Why are you running away? Well, why are you running towards that giant creepy mouth face thing? I would so run away from that. Uh, I can't run him. What? Oh, I can't still run. Crap, I'm out of stamina. Ah, oh, well. First one, I saw someone walking up there. Ah, weird. What's this? Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Isn't, isn't that my name? Isn't, isn't... Callum! Over here! Alright, I'll come, I'll come. Wait. Hello? Catch me, mommy! Okay, you're somewhere in this direction. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. I got limited stamina. Oh, squirrel set you. Ugh, those sounds, they're good. Soundscape is really great. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Kelm. Why would you forget your shoe, kid? Uh, what, what, what does one say? Chad the chipmunk, huh? Oh. Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chat the chipmunk, worst in class. Chet can't even seem to pass. Chet gets angry, likes to fight. Chet is beaten every night. Chet will have a dead end's job. Chet will will die useless slob. Okay, Chet. You got some you got some good friends there. Some, there's some odd sounds coming out of the speakers. What is this about? <sighs> Purchase the land or Solomon Island for a pittance, I might add. Whatever old char Archie Henderson did to the locals just to mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warming. I don't know what you're planning to do with this island, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things to land, remember, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at war waning me off. Uh, I had a great vision for this place, and they will see that a vision fruit in the very end. Okay. So apparently this place was cursed, and this guy decided to buy it anyway. Sir, this was built on an ancient burial ground, and people get lost and die here all the time. That's ah, fine. Don't... Don't... Yes. That was some creepy laugh. Callum, stay where you are! Callum, hey, where are you? Okay, what well, we got here? We got some... Where's boat right? I wonder if Hi, I... Mommy. Callum? Did you, did you go on the right? I think, yeah. I got some visual clue there. Can I, can I get in? N where are you? Right swan. Aw, oh, yeah. I bet that's not gonna be disturbing at all. Very, very, very calming, though. Very relaxing and calming. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't you worry about a thing. I just wish I had control over the situation. I'm just riding along. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Gretel. Ha. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Well, oh, poor kids. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow Ooh. and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. 
Mm, okay, so far so good. Kind kind of heard that one before. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. The wife told the woodcutter. I don't, I don't know about morning, romantic the ride. Of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, oh, what's happening? Something. Alan, where did you go? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was dis... Why would I run in here if I was a kid? Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Are we really gonna watch the whole thing? You see? Nothing to fear here. Come inside. The longer this keeps going on, the more anxious I become that something's gonna happen. Oh! Once inside the house, the old woman changed. Oh, just lovely. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Uh, this, this, this would be fantastic with the Oculus, Time I think. Passed, and though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled. So and romantic. So cooked. romantic. That's definitely a tunnel of love. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. <laughs> that's new. That that that's new. Why wouldn't you just eat your the house? Well, okay, that was interesting. We were just Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of want to get. Can I can I get off here, please? That was super scary. Oh, uh, please don't please don't move anymore. Just just let me get get off here. Oh God. Well, that was an interesting story and a super disturbing swan. Oh, he looks normal now. Ugh. Well, that was really nice. Quite quite a bit long. Not not my favorite kind of ride to take, but Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those hmm. poor children, the whole world against them, the forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I was about to say. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story, not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay, interesting. Stay where you are! Mm, I don't hear him anymore. Try Stop, to... Callum! Oh. Why, why would you... Come out, sweetie! I heard him say, catch me, mommy. Stay where you are! Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Another accident. This place. Okay. That's an. In uh, is that. Is that blood? Hmm. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opened on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only... What ha Oh, God. Uh, whether he will have any customers. I'm not truly worried the customer will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that the response of a positive emotion can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in his place. I will not make his mistakes very soon. I will know if it has all been for nothing. Okay, I think I found the teddy with the knife in his head. This is not disturbing at all. Ugh. Hey, Callum. Callum, where did 
to go. Over here. <laughs> uh, oh. Why are you such a creepy kid? Callum, honey, why do you have to be so creepy? Ooh, it's a Ferris wheel. Ooh, more stuff. I like rides. Wait for mommy. This way, mommy. I'm working on it. Well, doesn't this look inviting? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. This thing is super disturbing. I'll like to examine the, the report. Snapped. Those poor kids. We were waiting in turn for the ride. Frank, me, and the boys just fell in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. The chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the eyes. At first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger. But the more eyes fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of eyes. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were praying that thing in the eyes was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos, everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I at the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that it, the eyeball of one of the poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. That's a lovely report. Man, this this park is just filled with joy and laughter. Come back here right now. Yeah, I get you. Stop your quack shit and come here, son. I'm done with your sh stuff. I can ride. Sure, let's ride the Octotron. I can't get on while it's moving. Why would I even want to? All right. Okay, so how am I supposed to make this thing go? What's the last maintenance check on this thing? Oh! Oh, no good. Drugs are bad. I would like to get off now, thank you. Well, wasn't this just a lovely ride? Wasn't this very, very enjoyable? Thank you very much. Very enjoyable. I think, I think I'm gonna, Treachery I'm gonna... Treachery hides in thoughts. Leave. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Okay. I am seeing a pattern here. I thought working in the park for summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't any tourists around, so most of the steps spend their time standing around gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, C. Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's goddamn sued. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad, the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Look up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. 
But then I saw him at Susie's dinner, still wear diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in the gutter outside the cycle station, because he sure as hell can't carve a man mean eye sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the eyes, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booths today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I fucking me. Whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, chat, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura. Ah, fucking hell! Oh, there's someone standing in the back. Oh, there's someone standing in the back. Ah, oh, they're still standing there. Holy shit. Just, okay, just keep standing there. Why am I getting closer? I don't know, I wanna have a closer look. Oh god, this Come is... back. Alright, I... I'm just... Hopefully she's not gonna follow me. There's clearly a person standing in there! Okay, I can't, I can't have a closer look, I guess. Uh, this... Holy shit, that was a good scare. Okay, there doesn't seem to be an entrance to this place, which is good because I actually don't want to get close to her. I re really, really don't. You just keep standing in there and do your creepy thing. Holy shit. Uh. Oh, hey, dinosaur monster creature thing Callum where are you Kill him honey Yeah I'll follow the trail don't you worry your little head off Oh bumper cars Hmm Those sound like fun I think I think we're going to visit those in the next episode